Man, what a beautiful day it is. Like close to 70 degrees Fahrenheit out here. I'm in shorts today. Just, I mean, it's just gorgeous out. And it's a little early in the year yet, but there's no below freezing forecast in for at least the next week. So it's a good time to go ahead and set up my gravity fed watering system for my quail and get them off of uh, bringing water out here every day and watering them in bowls and containers and stuff like that. That stuff gets so dirty and nasty. It's just the gravity fed watering system is much, much easier. So this isn't going to be necessarily a video on how I built this thing, but I do have a video on how I built it, but I'm going to just kind of show you the parts that I use. So it kind of starts with this right here, which is uh, these little water cups right here. And these little water cups are the uh, automatic watering system part of it. Basically, uh, these won't hold water. They don't fill up with water, but these little plungers in here, when the birds peck at them, they let out a little bit of water and they'll get a drink. So the idea is that the uh, water in the bottom of it, they'll reach down to get the last of it, hit that plunger and it'll let out more water and then they'll be able to get a drink out of that. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little bit hoarse today for some reason, I can't figure out why. Anyway. They screw right into these PVC uh, sections right here. And this is, take these apart and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. There you go. Screw right into that, that little T section right there. And then you can just cut a piece of PVC, fit it right on there. Another piece on the other end with a cap on the end. You don't need to glue any of this stuff. And then on this end, I've got a piece right here that it's got a, uh, well, just a section here that I can uh, screw on this piece right here that the nipple for the, uh, for the hoses fits on right here. It'll kind of make sense here in a minute whenever I put this all together. So I need to start by putting this in the cages. So let me pull you over here and I'll show you how I hang them in the cages. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit tricky to show. Um, what I've got is a couple of pe pieces of uh, plumber's tape back here, if that makes sense. And then they just wrap around there and I screw them into the board. So let me take these screws out and we'll show you what I'm talking about. Here, I probably don't need a drill for that. Not what I do. So hopefully you can kind of see that. That's the way it's going to fit. Did I drop my screw? I did. I dropped my screw. I'll have to get down there and get it. But Anyway, let me get this first one in and then I'll dig that one out. So those are in, just tightened up the screws here. That's gonna hold it in place, that's all it needs. As far as how high they need to be, just about chest level for the birds is fine. Um, I lay them a little bit lower than that, uh, just so whenever I have younger birds in here, they'll still be able to get to them. All right, so the next step is to hook a hose up to it. So I just feed it through the side of the cage, pull it through, and hook it onto this barbed end right here. It takes a little bit of effort. Just twist it around and push it on there. There we go. There, that's good enough. And then uh, let me get the other one hooked up and we'll be right back. All right, so I got the uh, majority of it done here. So I've got another hose. Uh, this section right here is gonna be hooking into the bucket. Uh, to feed it out and this piece right here is so I can tell it's just going to stick straight up on the side of the bucket and I'll be able to see the water level inside the bucket in this piece right here. It'll kind of make sense when I get it hooked up. I've got a T in between these two lines right here so I'm going to hook this, actually I'm going to hook it up this way and then all there is left is to uh, hang my bucket and on the bucket I've got a, um, what do you call that? I can't remember what this is called, <laughs> uh, this piece right here. Um, this is what keeps the bucket from leaking. And then a, a hose bar uh, dug into the side of that, which is going to hook right into the side of the bucket. And 
And then I gotta hang it up real quick. Let me get some rope on here. And that's pretty much it. So I just took a hose up right here and uh, fill it up. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And so maybe you can see this. This is my hose right here that tells me my water level in the bucket. So, um, you know, it's filling up right now and you can see the water level is right about there, which is right about there in the bucket. When it gets up to the top, of course it's full and it's time to shut it off. All right, so I got it all filled up now. Need to check for leaks. Uh, see, I do see a leak. I see it dripping over here. And it's right on the, uh, right where the connection's made, so I just probably need to just push it together a little bit. Let me do that. And then push the plungers down, get the water going through, get all the air out of the lines. And I always try to fill the cups up initially, so let me get that done. Fill them up so the birds know where the water is. They'll figure it out pretty quick, but I don't want them to have to search too hard. So I just push the plungers down, fill the water cup all the way up. And I'll do that for a couple of days when I come out here. If they're dry, push the plunger in, fill it up with water. If they go kind of rushing to it like they're super thirsty, well, then I'll just keep that up for a couple of more days. But, you know, if they just kind of, well, there's water, no big deal, and they're just meandering around the cage, then they've already figured it out, and I don't need to worry about doing that anymore. So it's just a day or two of that just to make sure they figured it out. They probably have. They drank out of this before, but, you know, still, it's a good idea to do that. So I need to go bleed out the other one. And that should do it. So this is by far the best way i found to keep these guys watered in the summertime. It doesn't work in the winter when it gets down below freezing, you know, they all freeze up, but in the summertime, it's the best way to do that. They always have fresh water available to them. It doesn't get all dingy and dirty like it does. You know, if you're, if you're watering them in a bowl or a crock or something like that, you don't have to worry about food getting in there, any of that kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't hold water, so you don't have to worry about mosquitoes or any of those kinds of things getting in there. Um, what else? What else is good about it? That, that bucket will last. It's a five gallon bucket and it'll, you know, I'll have to fill it up once every week and a half, maybe two weeks, something like that. Other than that, it just keeps them watered all the time. So, um, I do have a video on when I built this. Um, I'll put a link for that up. I think it's on this side up here on the top. Anyway, I'll put a link for that video. You can go back and watch how I put it all together from the beginning, but it's pretty simple. And I'll go ahead and put a parts list down below for the parts you'll need to build this. Uh, minus a five gallon bucket. Just go buy that at a, you know, hardware store or whatever. Make sure you get food grade, but shipping on a five gallon bucket is going to be more expensive than what you can just buy it for locally at a hardware store. So um, I'll put a link for everything else down there. You can probably get the hose cheaper at a local hardware store as well, but um, I'll go ahead and put a link for the hose there. Um, how much you need is going to be dependent on your birds. I mean, how many, how far apart your cages are, how far you're running the hose, all that kind of stuff. It's good to buy a little bit extra just in case you have something break, especially with the water cups. Occasionally they will start to leak and it's, you know, easier just to replace them whenever they do. They're not that expensive, but uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, God bless.